The sun shines down on the Peninsula Stadium as we enter the penultimate month of the season and Salford City chasing down the playoff spots in League Two with 10 games to go of the season. This afternoon, Salford welcome Grimsby Town. The team plays bottom, but unbeaten in six, as the table quite often can lie. But a big game, and certainly from Salford's point of view, a must win. And with that in mind, Gary Bowyer has to make one change. Manny Deasarue being recalled for his first start since November 2019 in the league. Drops down for Hendry in field. Matat gives the ball away there to Deasarue, but it bounces back off straight to Matat. And then he is to the right hand side, lifted forward by Hewitt. Comes to Lamy on the left hand side of the area. Low shot blocked by Tom Clark. And the ball shifted back to Clifton, who drills a low shot in and finds the bottom corner. And with the first chance of the game, Grimsby Town, the side bottom of the league, two take the lead. It's only taken two minutes, and it's Harry Clifton, the second goal of the season, gives the Mariners the perfect start here. Long throw in. And Hewitt swings it towards the middle. It's headed away by Deasarouway, back in by Coke. The clearance comes to Coke again. And now Matet on the half volley forces a good save from Vasaf Ladki to palm the ball out for a corner. But again, he's not closed down. He's a lot of time there, the Fleetwood Loney. From the left-hand side, staggered run up. The corner comes in. It's headed away by Oscar Threlkeld. And Chaston picks it up on the left-hand side. Tom Sassante loses out. Cross comes back in. Jen John Lewis waiting at the back stick. Heads into the middle. Away by Turbo. Comes down to John Lewis. Halaki gets down and does enough to push the ball out to Jason Lowe to clear. Hunter right-footed, swings the cross in. Clark guides it to the right. Henderson back to Hunter. Cross comes back in. Again, it's close to the keeper. It's headed away by Grimsby. And Throwco with a heavy challenge. Thomas Asante on the volley. Hits the shot wide. Grimsby sensed that they didn't get a free kick there for Throwco's challenge. And here is Lamy with the free kick on the right, curled into the back post James Hansen heads it across, it comes off the inside of the post, it's put in but the assistant's flag had gone up on the right hand side and it will be a free kick for Salford that one not counting this is where Salford need one of the famous second half performances as Stefan Payne drags the ball away from Oscar Threlkeld and he's carrying on here. The referee trying to calm down the Grimsby forward as he aggravates Oscar Threlkeld, but he's going to get a yellow card for his troubles and good refereeing. And I'll be honest, I'd second book him for that. Yep, yeah, I think and that might the be the case. That? I think he's Is just talked himself into a red card. And Stefan Payne here. He's incredibly he lucky him. if he walks away with Always one yellow. There. It's not been bought the second time, but just the cheek of it. Terrible, terrible from the player. There's no reason for him to even get the first book in. He's holding onto the ball and pushing Oscar Threlkel for no reason. And he claps the referee and he's incredibly lucky to not have been sent off in that moment. Ball clear, it's here. Comes straight to Thomas Asante. He goes over. No penalty. I think you have to feel that Brandon Thomas Asante was already off balance as he burst forward there. I don't know. Not being given. I don't know. I thought it was. It's good footwork. He's so tricky in those close areas and close quarters, and he flicks the ball through. Is he trying to do too much? I think that's the that's the question. First, his technical area. He's coming to do a job. Have to keep Grimsby Town up after coming in at the end of December. Following Ian Holloway's resignation. Side being stretched here is Manny Deer Saruway onto a pass down the left hand side. He's surrounded by blue shirts, but he does well to nudge the ball on for Torre, making a good run. Pulls the ball back, but it's just in front of Thomas Asante. Grimsby lose possession. Threlkeld in for Ian Henderson in the area on the right, and his shot blocked by many A's. It opened Ian up. Henderson's just lifted it over. Plucky claims, I think, from Stefan Payne, the ball had gone out of play. Clearly hadn't. Grimsby find a way to get through Salford. Clark with a good challenge in the end, actually, on Julian Lamy. He's left him on the ground. 
wasn't a bad challenge and it's often now looking to break. Richie Tal through the middle. Hits one from distance. It almost looked like it was going to beat James McEwen. He just bounced wide and I think that's a little bit of soul, something that Salford need. Good touch and Giles Coke finds Matet. So it's played away by back for Grimsby. Torre runs into Jay Matet and Matet gets Torre by the throat there. And that was a very silly move from the Fleetwood youngster and that's right in front of the fourth official. Grimsby have played on and put the ball in the back of the net but the referee has already stopped play for that scuffle between those two. Grimsby are incensed because they feel they should have a second goal here but the referee's got a serious decision here and you wonder if he's actually going to speak to the fourth official to get the full extent of that. I mean there was no hiding, they were right in front of the fourth official, it was ridiculous really. I'm pretty sure Matep grabbed him by the throat, they put their heads together as well, they could both be in trouble really, it was silly and unnecessary. Richie Tal with the throw in on the right hand side, we're into the final five minutes. Coots lifted it back to Robbie Gotts, has to retreat a bit when he gets there, finds Towel, laid back off and Gotts with a good ball in. McEwen comes to punch, Torrey's been left on the ground, it's headed on by Henderson and that's a wonderful save by James McEwen. Surrounds by bodies at his near post, but he managed just to stick a hand out and push that head around the post for a corner to Salford. <laughs> All cleared forward, drops down, Torre on the left hand side, hits one on the half volley, and Ibu Torre breaks Salford City's goal drought with his first goal of the league season. It's been a long time coming, but it's a great finish. And Salford City are level here with just over three minutes to go. Torre composes himself. It's a crowded six-yard box as the ball comes in. It's flicked on. It's saved off the goal line. Coots trying to keep it alive in the area. But he goes down over Habergum. And the free kick goes in Grimsby Town's favour. It's a great save off the line, whoever that was. There's not enough time for the free kick. There's the full-time whistle. And Salford salvage a point against Grimsby Town. They would have wanted all three. I know they probably needed all three. Well, at least it's not a third defeat in the row. And the goal drought is over.